Welcome back, everybody. This is DLunner08, and I am on Quake SMP today. Um, you guys haven't seen this yet. This is our little carnival area that we've started so far. We have, um, this is like a worker hut that we have going. It's got a lot of supplies in it that we may need. Um, for some reason, this portal, when you go through the nether, the portal that that links to is out there instead of over here. But I've torn that down like 25 times. It just I'm going to have to move the portal in the nether, which is fine, I guess. But um, We have a boardwalk coming here. We're going to have some little facades of some houses going around. and Spoilers. But look at that. Um, I have created... Um, well, I didn't do this part. I did the carts and the circle. Because you had to go into creative to put down the barrier blocks. And this is for aesthetics only just you know just for looks i mean it's not going to have a function you can't break this block or anything but the only reason i put this block down was to keep the minecart from moving yeah see it won't move so don't be mad that i cheated a little bit i i kind of had to otherwise people would be knocking the carts off there and it would look really stupid but i, I talked with vastra and vastra said it was okay so it doesn't really matter but this is Polar's thing. I'm not really sure what it is yet, but we're going to have a fountain over here. I should start over here. We're going to have a fountain here. It'll be very, very nice. I'm going to build it up. and We have the boardwalk. Like I said, we're going to have a facade of some some little shops and everything along there and here. And I think she wants to do like a merry-go-round or something going here. Got a game working out there. Um, this is my first game. I, I have several games and a little secret project out here. I know I have a lot of secrets, but, you know, things happen. But if you guys follow the Mindcrack Network, they're not really a network, it's just the server. They invented a game called King of the Ladder, and this is it, basically. I am going to tweak it a little bit. I've got some plans of some maybe some dispensers with some arrows in them that will fire. When somebody gets up to the top, they can push a button and it'll shoot like five or six down. So let's go ahead and sleep. Um, with this area, I'm going to go ahead and say it. If you guys want to build out here, if you're on the server, um, just like shoot me a message and actually you don't even have to do that. Just come out here and build. You can build anywhere from where this is out to here as long as you're not on top of somebody's build. Like, don't be close to any blocks by like, I don't know, 10 blocks. That'll give enough for a path. I wonder what that's going to be. But yeah, you guys can come out here and build, go crazy, build some mini games. This is only min mini games. Uh, we'll have a couple of shops up at the front, but it will be for the mini games. And then. My mic volume control just fell because I use a headset. But yeah, um, plan on doing like a little. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to get to the top of this and like have a ladder pff, or some stairs or something that goes up. I cannot make this jump. Why not? There we go. And people will just be able to jump down and go up kind of like they do on the Minecraft. But this isn't as high as that one, of course. This just goes up to. I think this is like 125 blocks high, which isn't that high at all. Um, actually, we should probably go up to the top of it and look. Okay, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and get up here. And, oop, don't fall off. This looks pretty awesome from up here. As you can see, you can see the Ferris wheel. You can see whatever Polar's been doing. God, that's a lot of work. But yeah, you can see the boardwalk here the dock, the ferris wheel, nice view of the fountain, and hopefully people will fill in these areas with some mini games, and we'll have to work out some paths, and I know we're going to have like the main games, like Spleef, and I think uh, Things Take Time's got a game coming along, and it'll be very nice. Uh, if I die, I respawn right there, so it really doesn't matter. Let's yellow mode this. I know I'm too far out. Let's pull it in. Oh, snap! Okay. Don't shift, push space. Oh, and they break very easily, so I'm going to have to put some carpets over this, I think. Took me forever to get this much slime blocks. I had to I had to go over to the, the swamp. I think it's over there. 
but I had to go over there and it's no, it's no fun at all. But I think I want to work out a design here. I've got a bunch of different kind of blocks and I want to build it here at least. Maybe have it come up slightly. I don't know guys. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, I think I've got a design going here. It's kind of back a little bit. Um, I think the way it's going to work, I'm going to have... I, I made a template down at the bottom. I'm going to kind of follow it and build it outwards a little bit. And I'll put the little spots for the bed so people can sleep here. So if they die during the game, they could just... They'll be respawned here and they could just jump back into the game. That's probably the most effective jump right there. Um, there's that one, which was actually pretty good for just testing that out. Um, and... You can jump straight on to the ladders, but you start kind of, well, it's a little bit better to bounce, in my opinion. I missed that. But we'll test it out one more, kind of jumping a little close. Just walking forwards. Walking forwards isn't that bad. It's about the same as jumping on, but it's faster, I think. I don't know. Different techniques, I guess. But I think I want to kind of build this downward and maybe around. Uh, I'm going to build the top platform, and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, I did finish the circle. Uh, what do you guys think? It's pretty awesome, huh? It does kind of look like a donut, but I'm going to have probably a full wall all the way across and then cut out the ones that I've already put down. Yeah, I think I will, but I think I'm going to use a different color of wood. I have a bunch of spruce on me, and there's a bunch over there in that biome. But let's go ahead and jump down. We're going to eat while we're falling. Oh, I thought I missed that for a second. Like a boss. Um, I'm going to see if I can cover up these holes somehow. If not, then I'll probably just pull them, push them forward one block. Don't think that'll be a big problem. It might even look better. Yeah, I may do that anyway. But I'm going to... I'm going to probably bring... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to work on this a little bit, guys, and I'll be right back with you again. Yeah, this should be a big enough room here for two beds. There's going to be two beds on each side, I believe. That's what I want, at least. So that's enough room for eight players. And we can always add a couple of beds down at the ground with some chests if if needed. So, yeah. There's a bed. I could do here and then do a bed here and a bed here. But... Need ladders... Am I really in the way for that ladder? There. I want to make it to where you can't jump out. That's good. Should be should be good enough there. I might do fences here so that might work. Yeah, I'll probably do some, some dark. Actually, I have some on me. Hmm. I don't want to do it all the way across. I'm just going to do it here.
try not to fall in the holes. Oh yeah, I think that looks okay. I have noticed that it's starting to look like an acorn. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and throw some darker wood in there now. Yeah, it should be fine. I'll do that and I'll be right back with you. Be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. I am officially done with this for for well for right now probably. Um, I have finished it, I believe. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty cool from up here. Uh, I've got it torched up. Um, if any mobs can spawn, they'd be spawning when I jump down. So I want to make sure that this is creeper safe. I think I've got it all well lit up, and well, at least I hope so. Let's jump down and look at the different colors that I've gone with here. Oh, as you can see, the birch. I added the birch in the corners here to give it just a little bit more color variance. Finished all four sides. Uh, from the outside, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. It, it looks like something, but I, I can't put my finger on it. Um, All of the four corridors look exactly the same as of right now. I haven't put in the beds yet. I think I'll do that off camera. But, yeah. I think it looks pretty awesome. Here's the top layer of it. Uh, I think I'll leave these fences up here. Let's see, this is the same too. Because I don't want people falling off. I don't think I'm going to make any fences go out this way. But God, there are a lot of Endermen out here today. He's stealing blocks. Oh well. But yeah, um, I extended this out one. Okay, there is a mob right there. I'm going to have to fix that. I don't want creepers spawning down there. I'll probably put some glowstone underneath the carpets when I put the carpets in. So, yep, but this is what I have so far. You can jump out. You, well, I don't have any hunger, but you can make it a little bit farther. Don't shoot me, fool. But, yeah, guys, um, I think that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you aren't already subscribed to me, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.